All right, this is Brent with Professional Discount Supply. Uh, the purpose of this video is to uh, show architects how to properly spec out PDS's uh, soil gas vapor mat. Uh, so this is a sample layout that's available on our website for a multifamily residential dwelling. Um, basically, what you're looking to do is create a, uh, an area of soil gas mat that goes around the perimeter of the building, and then you'll need T-riser exhaust points every 2,000 square feet of slab or so. And uh, this is for radon ready new construction developed to ASTM international guidelines. Now these T-riser exhausts are where uh, with a passive system air will naturally through the stack effect naturally flow up through a 4 inch schedule 40 pipe uh, and you can activate the system by adding a radon fan to it. Um, for those not familiar with um, active radon systems or non-radon ready new construction basically if uh, a radon mitigator were to come to a building like this without radon ready new construction without anything underneath the slab what they would have to do is they would have to dig suction pits uh, on the edges of the building for, especially for a building this size they'd probably have to dig about five or six suction pits uh, that's a six inch core through the slab they'd have to remove about 10 to 20 gallons of dirt let's say they put one right here in the corner um, and then they would have to uh, exhaust the gas uh, up through the building or put a fan outside the building and exhaust the, fan, uh, exhaust the gas up the side 10 feet above grade away from any doors or windows. So it's a, it's a ton of work. With radon ready new construction, you've got a clear path for air movement all around the perimeter of the building and several areas where the gas can escape naturally with the stack effect or uh, can be activated. So these T-riser exhausts, you can see here that we hid them in storage rooms. Uh, mechanical rooms. You want to keep them away from bedrooms especially because if you do activate the system, if the stack effect is not enough to reduce the radon levels, you're going to add a fan to these systems uh, up in the attic of the building uh, or in an unoccupied, uh, uninhabited place in the building and uh, it's going to create some noise. Airflow is going to always create noise. So you want to keep that away from um, any sort of bedrooms so that the building occupants aren't disturbed. So uh, the keys to this to remember are the perimeter of the building and T-riser exhaust about every 2,000 square feet uh, is what we found to be successful.